Well, joining us now is Lieutenant Colonel Daniel Davis, Senior Fellow and Military Expert at Defense Priorities. Lieutenant Colonel, thank you for your time. Uh, let's start with the question on so many people's minds. What do you think these objects actually are? Because we're not getting a lot of information in spite of these multiple briefings by the government. Yeah, that's the one thing that really troubles anybody or all of us. I think, you know, we can we can speculate about a lot of kind of things, but I mean, it literally could be anything. It could be something innocuous. It could be uh, a university uh, a research project. It could be, a, you know, a weather balloon or it could be something uh, a little more nefarious. It could belong to China or Russia or to some other adversary. And I think it's crucial that we find out what this is as soon as possible. Anything that's serious enough to, to engage U.S. fighter pilots in lethal combat uh, to take something down over U.S. territory, I mean, that's a pretty serious issue. And we, we need more information to know whether this is just an overabundance of caution or whether it's a legitimate need to knock these things down. Well, Lieutenant Colonel, we heard Blake ask this question in that press conference, but why do you think, you know, why this decision this time around to, to not only shoot them down, but to also tell the American public about them? You know, I, th I think that part of this is because, because of the, the, the real hubbub that happened over the, the Chinese uh, balloon fiasco, because, you know, it became aware, people saw it on the ground, they, they reported it on social media, now it becomes an issue that you can't deny. And then, of course, it took, you know, a number of days until the thing went all the way across the continental United States before action was finally taken. And the president came under a lot of heat on that. Uh, and especially in, in congressional head the testimony by Senator Murkowski of Alaska was, you know, especially livid. So when the next one popped up again in Alaska, I think that they felt kind of compelled to, all right, we're not going to dilly around with this one. We're going to knock it down and, and try to figure it out later. And I think that that's part of what the problem is going on now. Well, Lieutenant Colonel, last question for you. You know, we don't want to know exactly what these last three objects were. We don't know whether or not they were balloons. But do you think they all originate from the same place? And if so, I mean, who do you think is responsible? Well, that, you know, obviously the, the first question everybody wonders, is it China? Did they did they follow up that, that other balloon with some other ones that were right on the tail of it? And, and certainly I hope that's not the case because that would, that would present us a whole different level of trouble. Uh, but, but until we can rule anything out, we have to take everything on the, you know, we have to take every option and, and find out. Because if it is China, then, then, you know, we have to take some serious action on that diplomatically and, and uh, you know, and, and make some very serious representations that this is not going to be allowed. As we're showing, we'll continue to shoot things down if they come into our airspace. And I think that that's a message that pretty much everybody's getting right now. So that's the one positive out of this, I think. All right. Well, Lieutenant Colonel Davis, uh, we thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.